Do you ever find yourself looking at your watch and thinking this call is costing me a fortune? If you do, you're still stuck in the 20th century with telephone technology that's fairly changed since the 19th. In the 21st century, there is no reason why you should be paying through the nose by the minute to use a telephone network when most of us now have access to a very credible alternative, the internet. After all, if the internet can carry text, images and video clips, it should be able to carry people's voices just as easily. That's the thinking behind voice over internet protocol which simply stated means using the internet to make and receive telephone calls. How exactly does it work? Let's jump into it. All the information that travels over the internet from the latest music videos on YouTube to the confirmation email from Amazon that your book is on its way is a sent by a method called packet switching. Although the information is huge to send, it is broken down into many small pieces called packets. It's a bit like sending a book through the post not as big as fat parcel but by putting every single page into a separate envelope individually addressed and dispatched. It might sound odd to send things this way but packet switching is actually an extremely quick and efficient way of handling the billions of emails, web pages and everything else that has to zip back and forth across the internet every single day. How then do you send a telephone call over the internet? There are really three separate problems to solve before you can do it. Alerting someone that you want to call them, turning your voice into digital sound and sending it over the internet. When you make a traditional telephone call to a friend, it creates a wired circuit when the call is connected. With VO, IP, things are different with people having unique telephone numbers that aren't permanently linked to one physical location, the person you are calling could be anywhere on the planet. So the first part of making a VO, IP call involves your computer locating the receiver on the internet, signaling their computer to receive a call. Next step is to send a basic telephone call over the internet. You have to turn a speaker's voice into digital form. That's relatively easy and the technology has been around for many years. The piece of software responsible for this process converting audio sound onto digital data and back again at the other end is known as a codec. Lastly, it breaks down into packets and send it over the internet to another computer where it can be resampled and turned back into the sound of a voice by exactly the reverse process. That's basically how we can bring someone's phone through the internet. So until the next amazing video, keep hitting your blind spot.